Welcome to CCG's SAP Web Intelligence 4.1 Advanced Analytics Series. Today's session will be an overview of a highly interactive dashboard. The concept is to demonstrate a completed dashboard, then follow with additional instructional videos on how to create individual analytics. I will begin by launching the Margin Analysis Report. This Web Intelligence Report has been formatted for use as a performance dashboard. The focus of this dashboard are the summary analytics showing revenue, order quantity, and margin measures. Similar summaries by country are located on this table along with some KPI symbols. Sales volume has been grouped by margin threshold in a donut chart. The same groupings are displayed by month in the stacked column analytic. The ranking features have been used to display the bottom five resellers and products by margin percent with a minimum volume threshold. Product mix is demonstrated using a tree map analytic. This analytic relates both margin in percent and sales volume. I will use an input control to toggle legends and business rules. This clearly defines margin groupings, ranking business rules, and the legend for KPI symbols. I will then use the reset button to clear the report real estate. I will use an input control to swap the country KPI table with the combination bar chart. This will visually demonstrate how far below the margin percent goal each country is performing. All or any portion of the dashboard can be filtered using an analytic, if they have this symbol. By clicking on the high margin group, you can see how the entire dashboard is impacted. Again, using an input control, I will swap the volume by month chart to a margin percent by month combination chart. This provides a view of margin percent performance over time. For product mix, I will swap the tree map for a table to display more detailed information. Note that our performance colors are going to be better defined along with an embedded bar chart for easy visual comparison. If we limit the data to Australia, you can clearly see the subcategories, which are the outliers. If we exclude touring bikes and touring frames, you can see a marked improvement of overall margin percent. Even with these items removed, February is still not a good month for Australia. After resetting the dashboard, to its default state, I will click on Australia to drill to and pass parameters to a more detailed report using the open document feature. I will use the product mix analytic to filter on road bikes. This provides a global view of performance as well as the bottom five resellers and products for this subcategory. I will do the same thing for mountain bikes. But this time, instead of using the reset button, I will reset the filter by right clicking on the analytic. I am going to isolate our worst margin product, which will show how every country is underperforming. You will note that Australia is particularly missing the mark.
Finally, I will filter on the month of February. This demonstrates how this dashboard can be used for a single point in time. This concludes the interactive dashboard tour. I will follow up with additional videos detailing the creation of the individual analytics.